Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dave Madela, and on this episode of King of the Palace, the reigning king, John Dufield, faces another newcomer in the number three seed, and Dan Chenard. Should be a great match between two great bowlers. Let's get to the action. Welcome to the King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my right, the reigning king, John Dufield. Welcome back, John. Thank you. And to my left, the number three seed with a roll-off score of 399, Dan Chenard. Welcome, Dan. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, what are your thoughts about bowling against John? Oh, she throws a good ball. She'll be a good match. Awesome. And John, your thoughts bowling against Dan? Um, I didn't really get to see him in uh, the qualifier, but I'm um, sure with the 399, he bowls really good. All right, awesome. Well, good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on Alley 3, newcomer to the King of the Palace, Dan Chenard. Bowls on the Friday Night Pro League? Yep, at a Metro Bowl. I believe it's his first time here at the tournament. It is. He qualified with a 399. Excellent candle pin bowling. Well, first ball delivery, he's left a four, five, seven, a lot of wood. Going to play it way out with the right. Picks nice pick up. up. Nice form, deliberate bowler, three-step approach. He's been bowling for 30 years. His high average is a 117. His high single is a 183. And his high triple is a 438. Doesn't appear to throw a real speed ball. Moderate speed. Like so. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Twice last week, and what happens in the second box of a... Beautiful thing right there, baby. Gets a four on a fifth. Well, he's got to play the three in the left to come out of this with a nine draw. Nine box, let's see what happens. Well, he just dropped out the six. He's disappointing seven. Oh, does that kill you? Takes the momentum right out of it. Okay, defending champion, one last week. John Dufield. Nicknames goes by either Rambo or Spidey. <laughs> See what happens. Bowls out of Mohegan Bolt. Whoops from Mass. Right, right. Took out four. Leave six on the left. Got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. I don't think the wood's going to help, but then again, you never know. Could ricochet off the sidewall, Dennis, right? His high average yeah. is a 110. His high singles a 170. His high triples a 430. And he's been bowling for 12 years. Last week, the reigning king nice out. defeated Johnny Blaze, or John Blaze. Oh, isn't that calling him Ghost Rider? <laughs> Johnny Blaze? Yeah. Yeah, we should. He doesn't have a nickname. Well, that's it. He's Ghost Rider from now on. Yep, yep. Opened up in the ninth box, so a little loose on the, the right. Off to the right. Same leave. Uh, dropped the three, went down, right? Yeah, yeah same leave. Same leave, huh? Yep. Yeah. Now, how often does that happen, Dennis? Right? <laughs> you when get the a, same when leave. It's, when it's a bad leave, leave, it happens more often than you think. <laughs> same leave, twice in a row. Oh. Now he finds a head pin, and he only takes two out of four. Two, two out of six. Now, you think he would have got more. I always say throw the strike ball to get the spear, and he does it. And yeah, he's a little full on it, though. Oh, nice, out. nice Nice start. And nice. the returning king is getting five pins. So after two, it's John Dufield at 24, Dan Chenard at 21. Let me give a shout out to our sponsor, North End Mazda Subaru in Lundberg, Massachusetts. Uh, go to uh, buynorthend.com. Visit or visit our friends, Marty Babineau and his staff. Great salespeople up there. Wow. Oh, no. What is going on here, people? Somebody's going to have to turn around oh. and, and call 911 because he's going to have a coronary any minute. But the... He's going to be, he's gonna be doing the dead fish. Two out of five boxes. Give us a break. We'll have to the... get Amber to give him mouth to mouth. Oh. I don't okay. think she will, though. And he traps out. He gets the same thing. He gets a seven box. Steve goes from Shaggy to Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh. My goodness, people, I know, I know. It is so frustrating for Canopin Bowler. And he's not even one ball. <laughs> <laughs> now he throws a, a ball that drifts a little right, and he's left the four horsemen left. Yep, one, two, four, and seven. Oh, he's got a no one on the deck. Through. No, nice ball. Just oh, drifted. Oh. Just missed. It was heading towards a head pin and then drifted left. Tailed out and left the finger of God. Yeah. And he 
he gets to... Oh, oh look at that. that. He's going to get to the 10. And whoops. Look yeah, good. Look like, yeah, look like he had yeah. the 10. That ball tails right at the end. Well, people, if you watch closely in Canopy Bowling, there's like arrows of dots on the alley, about 15 to 20 feet down. They're called range finders. And in my opinion, if you get any part of that center oh, eye, head pin, head. you should oh. get the head pin, and it just drifted left on him. That, hit, that five pin was going to drop, yeah. but what happened? The two pieces of wood came up and sandwiched it right in. Well, he's got a piece of bond wood, David, or is it, what is it called? A piece of wood straight in front of the pin? I just call he, it that. Uh, he <laughs> called, no, no, David. Oh, 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 oh no. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've seen everything right now. Wow. Look at this. That thing is just giving him the middle finger right now. <laughs> that should have dropped. Oh, crap. Why did he go down? It's wow. I know, Dennis. Nothing no, hit. Wow. That, that that was but hit. it was hit. That was it hit. It was I hit. Just, you have been defeated on Kano Pins. I got nothing. <laughs> that was it. It was hit. You yeah. saw it. You witnessed it. Yeah. And it's on tape. Okay, he's rolling up. See you later, Ghost Rider. Yeah. Yeah, that's your new nickname, Ghost Rider. Nice job. See you guys He's later. Checking out four on the left, left six on the right for the spear. He's the, yeah. Yeah, he had this the opposite way twice. Yeah. So three out of four boxes. He's at the same basic. Well, now we go. Champ is struggling a little bit here. Question of the week is a three-parter, so I'm going to ask it early on as soon as he's done with this box. Oh, the three-parter. Oh, nice out. Nice out. After so after four, four, it's John Dufield at 43, Dan Chenard at 37. Okay, Dennis, fire away. This is from Bob Trainer, Turner Falls. He's actually won the Rears Challenge before. First part is Stasha Zernike is number one of all time. But her aside, who is the best female bowler you've ever seen? Me, obviously, because I praise her all the time, is Lynn Thompson. Oh, oh this leaves the fire. Oh. The five pin, the last one to go. <laughs> no offense to any of the other great female bowlers out there, like Mel K Casey and all them. Nothing against them, but my opinion, I love Lim Thompson. I bowled with her. I bowled against her. She's just phenomenal. She scares me. <laughs> Myself, I would have to. I'd have to say. Oh, oh we're gonna have a double. double. Oh, almost. Leaves the eight pin. Um, Dennis, in your neck of the woods, at Tony Marie Bo Bolton. She is another great bowler. Yeah. She was at the Ames Worlds. She was actually at Worlds. Aims she aims very new somewhere up there, right? roughly around there. She oh, shot. Oh, he tried to try to wrap that ball right around the, the that piece of dead wood. Yeah, she was there. She didn't bowl obviously because it's the Worlds is a men's. They had female had their own World Tournament, uh, but she was there. Wow. Great person to talk to. Very pleasant. And David, do you have a favorite lady bowl at the oh, station? It's gonna be Gonna be Lynn. Yeah. yeah. No, I bowled against. She, 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 when I said she scares me, she scares me. And Lynn was still waiting for you to come down, be the first queen of the palace. Come on. Yep. I know you can do it. <laughs> I've that, seen, you, I've seen you kick a lot of guys' butts. And <laughs> there's been a lot of women that wonder why we don't have a queen of the palace tournament. Um, we don't have enough women to have a tournament to, tournament to have a good payout. I mean, the past two King of the Palace tryouts, there's only been one woman that showed up on both, Tina Ward. Uh, we need more women. Oh. Oh. 10 pin the last one to stay. If we could have like 15 to 20 women show up, we definitely have we just an all-female tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, would, uh, David, you think that the OEPD, the outstanding executive producer director, would let us put it on TV? Of course he so would. Of course he would. He's Travis Flock. He'd do it for us. He'll do anything for Caleb and Bowling. Nine bucks. David Raymond, I think that'd be the first time ever, wouldn't it be? What? A king of the palace for the ladies? Uh, excuse me, the lady king? Queen of the Palace? Oh, Queen of the Palace? Yeah. No, we we got to work on this, guys. I'll work on well, this. Women I'm going to mark it down. Women can show up and they oh, have yeah, to try out. Okay. Yeah. But the payout wouldn't be worth it if only like five yeah, or six women right. showed up. That's it's right. Not the more they get, the better probably. Okay. Right. Let's concentrate a little bit here. He's going after the 10 pin for the spear. Yep. 10 pin by itself called the corner of the See building. Shot. Oh, oh, I'll oh, do that okay. one anyway. Or at least he has a shot at the 10. Oh, he wanted that. A little frustrating when you yeah. do that. Just he knew as soon as the ball left his hand. Yeah, you can tell. Again. Again. So after six, <clears throat> John Dufield at 61, Dan Chenard at 65. The King is down four pins. What's part two of our question? Part two is, for all the guys, what is the worst alley you've ever pulled at? Myself, personally, I, I, I'm going to refrain from answering that. I could never put down anybody who's involved with the greatest sport in the world by individual or family or groups. I just, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Dave? What? Part two of the question, what's the worst alley you've ever bowled at? Uh, 
Oh, oh, just missed it. Well, I don't like I, I, For me... Knowing you, David, you think the same way I do. Well, no, for Not me... Not to put words in your mouth. For, for, for me, uh, I hate to say that it's, you know, I don't want to put down anybody's well, house let, let by me saying it's the worst house. Yeah, let house. me rephrase it. The toughest house I have ever, there you go. ever bowled okay, at. Okay, that'd be better. Toughest house, in, it, in my opinion... I would, have to box say, it in. I would have to say it was the, yeah, the old bowling house up in Lowell, Lowell that's now closed. The front that's gone demolished. It was called the Wanda Set. They never had 100 averages. <laughs> there was a, there was a, and I don't remember the name of it, but there was, a house in, there was a, a house in Lemonster. Um, oh, yeah, the one upstairs at the yeah, warehouse? Yeah, that one was pretty tough. Look at this lead, people. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 two, yeah, two, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How are we? I don't think we've ever seen that. Off of a headpin shot. Yeah. On a headpin shot, yeah. yeah I don't think we've ever seen it. No. Once again, do you know what's going to happen? Um, the worst, well, I should say the, the house point. where my ball doesn't work. The best. The best. Yeah. It's got to be Candlewood. Where's that? North Reading. North Reading. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. De Dennis, you've told me you've come down here and you, you, you know go to the show. Too. You've been to King of the Palace with a 126 average, yep. but you go to another house. If you don't mind me bringing up yeah. the viewers, you have an average of 113. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what's funny is, is, is like a lot of people that come from tougher houses do really well because they have to adjust on. Well, the I clock. grew up on at Central Park in East Boston, which is a tough house, but Candlewood for me is just ridiculously tough. Now, how do you judge being tough? The you pin, play a pin shot. Pin. You play a shot the way it's supposed to go, and you get absolutely nothing. nothing. Or if you hit the head pin uh, and you a lot, and, and 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 all of a sudden you just have splits all over the place, yeah. with no yeah. wood, and it's like it's just it's a tough house. Yeah. And like again, like I once again, not to be redundant, people out there in bowling lane, we appreciate all the questions. But even yours truly sometimes can't answer a question truthfully because I would never put anybody down about the greatest sport in the world. Yeah, family it's not the house itself. I so. mean, some people love Candlewood. Well, me, right I'll be honest with you. So. My average up at Mason's when I bowled there in 86 and 87 was like 103. Oh, oh is it rocking? Come on. Get him. Oh, waving it over. Give him a break. Uh, so what is going on here? <laughs> Spidey, you have to use your Spidey sense. happened early with the five pin on the show. Wow. Remember, it, it rocked. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do it. The king's going to have his work cut off. I'm going to somehow get a physicist on this and find out. Why didn't that pin fall? What is the percentage of the pin, the rock, to fall down? Uh, after I eight, know. it's Dan Chenard at 84, and the returning king, John Dufield, at 80. Four pin lead. When Dan's not bowling, he, um, there's an insurance, an insurance, and he does billing. And, and he found the head pin again. He enjoys sporting events, and I think he's a huge Celtics fan. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I, I think he's got a Celtics jacket on the bench right there. I can see it. Well, if you find that in the Pro League, he oh. always has, like, something. Yeah, I'm I'm not putting down Celtics. I just, my personal opinion <laughs> is I don't, don't like basketball. No, I used to follow mean. basketball back then, but not anymore. I've always liked hockey. Nine box. No, I'm, I'm a hockey guy. Hockey and football. Basketball, I agree with you, too. You know how, you know what would be, just to get off the subject quickly, and everyone, once again, I'm always thinking about things. You know what I would do with basketball? Right away, what's the worst thing in basketball? Referees blowing the whistle, stop your play. No, nice ball. I would make the game four on four. Then you got 20% less fouls. 20% stop, less stoppage of action. Yeah, but you're also winded about 30% oh, yeah. more. And you condition your other players on the bench more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd make that game four on four be a great game. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to play it until the later years as you can now with only four on four. Well, wait a minute. You're running just as well. You're by, what, you'd be running more. Oh, oh, way right. Thought he had that. Okay. This is turning into a sports talk radio. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot going on in the alley right now. So. Finishes with what, Dennis? 102. 102. Yeah, really disappointing. Well, it's left the door open, no doubt about it, for the defending oh, champion. Oh, we did make the comment that we do want to take the show on the road. Yep. yep. And a couple of people have gotten back to us oh. about yeah. their, their lanes that would like to host us, and we do appreciate it. We're going to look into it. We're going to try to do it next yeah, year. Absolutely. For yep. season four? Season four. Absolutely correct. I'm going to check on a couple of houses myself. Central Park Lanes being one of them. Um, hopefully there'll be some other ones we can talk to the owners and see if they're willing to host. Yep. Free advertisement for them. Absolutely. Making money. They have our lovely mugs all over the place, you know. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh. They would support the show. All the same. Yeah. Okay, if he finishes this final 
next, one. The next ooh, nice run in the rail. Next king of the palace will be April 25th. Last and set. that yeah, will April. be that will be the last 80% one of season three, unless on May 30th, the people that were squawking and whining and crying about the 80% handicap or this and that show up for the scratch one. Then on May 30th, when we hold the scratch king of the palace. Yeah, again, that's why I sign up only. You don't have to prepay, yep. but you don't have to yeah, sign up ahead of time. You gotta sign up, right? Yeah, absolutely correct. Yep, well, sign up by the end of April. By the next king of the palace, April 25th, um, at least 20 bowlers for the scratch tournament. Uh, you can go to newpalacelanes.com and leave a message. Oh, wow. We just missed that. And an too. email. And um, I know I had a couple people spark interest, but that was about it. Yeah, a couple people asked me about it. Uh, Dave Hodge, he's, he said he's coming down. I know uh, Norcross, Nick Norcross said he, that he, was, he might be coming down. I'm still wow. waiting for, like, you know, the Bakers and the Barbers and the Surratts and... I'll talk to him. No. After one, Dan Chenard at 102, John Dufield at 99. And the rest of the Friday Night Pro League. Yeah, I challenge everyone in the Friday Night Pro League to come on down. Well, first and, string. Oh, and some people have asked um, what happens to the king of the scratch qualifier. The returning, the, whoever's the king of the, if we do have the scratch match, we will we'll hold another scratch match um, later on. Uh, and that king will come back as the king of that but not the 80% handicap one. Right, the 80% handicap king will remain the 80% handicap king. And then the scratch king will return as the scratch king. King so of the know, palace. I know some people had some um, curiosity on that. Like, on the head pin. Oh, look at wow. Leaves, leaves the three, three, four. Yeah, that's actually not too bad though. He's got nope. that little guide. Yep. Yep, let's see what happens here. Oh! Dennis, did you see that? That was oh a nice God. pitch. The three, it went behind the pin. The returning king of the palace is struggling a little. Where else? Last wow. week he was tearing it Where up. else? Where else does it happen? Wow. Oh That's my a tough one. goodness. Okay, the, the third part of that viewer's question. Uh, this one's for Dave. Uh oh. How much would you estimate it would cost to build a new bowling alley from scratch? I can't really answer that because it depends how many lanes. Yeah, it one, does. One, one lane. What do you think, Dave? One lane with new machine? One new, lane? Yeah. New machine, then... About 150000 Oh, would it be that much? Well, one yeah. Lane? Oh, yeah. One lane. Oh, What's yeah. the machinery cost? Machinery oh, pins, the alley. Yeah, you have... You have uh, they're probably going to... Everything now would be synthetic that they would put in, so they'd probably put the synthetic gutters Yeah, but David, I've they'd seen... They'd probably put the synthetic gutters in, synthetic lanes in. Um, all yeah. new automated equipment in the back. The equipment's you, expensive. Yeah, but you can buy a used, uh, used machine for what? But he said couple, brand new from yeah, scratch. Brand so you, new, obviously yeah, obviously you want to put brand new in there. You don't want to put yeah. used yeah. stuff in there. Yeah, you would build it from scratch. So roughly about 150 grand per lane. So you yeah. get a 10 lane, lane house, 1.5 million. All right. Yeah. No, it's dry. It's dry. I'm going to their David the channel. So. Yeah, okay. Sure. Two tens for the returning king. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I had that, if I had that kind of money, then we wouldn't need a sponsor well, like North and Mazda Subaru. Well, rumor <laughs> has it you're touring around Lemonster in spring, this coming spring in the next Corvette. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Leave the personal attack. There you go. I worked nice hard, I, I worked hard no, for that. No, no, no. Okay. I, have, I have a day job. Nice ball delivery. He's left the three and the ten. This is known as... The baby split. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh nice pick up. He drilled the dead wood into the three, carrying it, caromed or carried into the... What's a better word, David? Caromed or carried? Carried. Carried. Carried into the ten. Okay, I stink. And correctly. again, please leave comments on YouTube, Facebook. I do read them all, and I do comment. We all bed. read them all. I just don't comment all the time. Oh. But when I do comment, it's usually uh, Caleb and Bowler. I think I... I mine is... Mine but, is Dopey88049. But, but I always will sign my name at the bottom. Oh, yes. Two in a row. Opens up um, two in a row. Puts the pressure on. Want to thank all the viewers out there on YouTube and all the, the local access TV viewers. If you want local access um, in your area to see Candlepin Bowling, just contact your cable provider and say, hey, I want uh, King oh. of the Palace on my TV. Well, they'll call up Travis Falk, the outstanding, outstanding producer director. The OEPD. There's only one Travis Falk. He'll handle everything. He'll go anywhere. He'll get it on for you, people. Call him up. Yep. 
He's Travis Falk. He doesn't cost you a thing. You just fill out one piece of paper and oh, you nice shot. Shot. Yeah, what it is 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 I need advocates in every everywhere, every right? town and state. Oh, we can want um, to stay. We can go. We, we're seeing in New Brunswick. We got the people on YouTube. Well, they, they watch them on YouTube. But sure. if you want, but if you want to make well, enough noise it. to get it on to get it on uh, a national level, I understand. Then it has yeah. to, the, you know. Although we, I do appreciate all the viewers from from Massachusetts all the way to California, to Canada, sure. to Texas, absolutely, and everywhere in between. The more noise that we make, Speaking the better of the, the chances are that we're going to get it on local access. We do have more shout-outs coming. Yep. We have tons of them, and we appreciate them all. Excuse Speaking me. of a shout-out, uh, Dave Ritzel out of uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Pennsylvania. Sorry that you're a Steelers fan, man. Wow. How do you know he's a Steelers fan? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he could true. be an Oakland Raider fan for all we know. Right? Sorry about that then, too. Uh, uh, trying to change play on a little. Yeah, he's hurting. Laboring. Buried, struggling. Buried the ball in the one two and left an ugly split. The reigning king better get on his horse because this match will be over yeah. pretty quick. Yeah, Dan Trinade is really going to put some distance here if he... Uh, Gets a good fill on the yeah, he's up three going into the straight. Oh, he's up. got the head. That. As soon as wow. he left his hand, he's dropped nine. Oh, has he found it, Dennis? Yeah, he's right on that. What's he got, three nine drops in a row? Well, you know, Dan is one. No, we made the baby One strikes. for wearing some nice uh, bling around his neck. So do you think you if know. he wins the King of the Palace title, he'll put that around his neck? Very well could. Hang it from a chain? Well, yeah. you talk about confidence. He went right to the towel, went to the ball, went to the... Rack, went to the lane. Well, Dan's the focus up. bowler. We bowl against one Friday nights. Nice no, there's no oh. goofing around for Dan. No. He's left the floor. He goofs around when he's done bowling. The floor seven, eight. One of the six triangles. Better known as what, Dennis, also? Also known as the Mongo. Oh. Out of failed. his home lanes. Met, uh, Metro Bowl. That's where he, he failed created. to get four marks in a row, which would have been an eagle, which we very seldom see in bowling. Nice ten. Nice ten bucks. Very difficult. But After he's, four. Uh, he's really John Dufield at 42. Dan Chenard at 65. Speaking of appreciation, uh, David, if we yes. haven't mentioned our good friend, sponsor, Mr. Oh. Marty Babineau. Oh, yeah, Marty, Marty Babineau up at uh, North End Mazda Subaru. Sorry, in Marty, you took us. Mass. To, sorry, you took us to the fifth box, but. Oh no, it's not. The, uh, I couldn't remember. Oh, look he's at this break. Oh, look at this. Come on, one more. Come on, ten pin. Fall down and get right the. Right now, this ten pin has been his nemesis all day. Yeah, John long. hasn't had a mock yet this match. No, well, he should yeah. get one here. He's got a. Well, I don't know. This yeah. this foot is ugly. Which one are you going for, Dennis? Yeah, the Jersey Barriers up there. Plow him. Plow him. I go to the right though. I go to more to the right one. Oh, he loved the left. There you go. He's first mark of the match. Drilled that. Now he needs the big mark. Yeah, he needs to throw him. Now he need, yeah, yeah. He needs a confidence builder right now. First mark out of six points. Box to box, he's down 26 pins. Yeah, he's got a good idea. I also want to give a shout out to um, Paul Hartley from Florham Park, New Jersey. Wow. I wonder if he's a Jets fan or a Giants fan. Six fill, he's a four horse. That was heading for half Worcester territory, but fortunately he carried six on the on the mark. He's left the four horsemen right. I don't think the wood's gonna do any damage well, or help. No, it's get a little or a guide. Wood, yeah. yeah, or a guide. If he wants to go outside, that wood'll yeah. guide him. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, just missed it. So David, continue that one for my friend from New Jersey? What? The question? There was no question, but that's for shout sure. Out. Oh, a shout out. Oh, I thought, I apologize, people. I thought no. it was a question. I, appre you know, I appreciate wow. reading everybody's comments on YouTube. Um, oh, I do too. I am, um, I like to say that I'm a man of my word, so if I ask you guys to do something and you write them down, you, you ask, I'll, I'll we'll print them out and I'll read them on air. I have no issues at that at all. The more the good or bad. Lane number three, box seven, found the head pick. Oh, he's, he's got another, another triangle one. again. Another triangle. The same one he left before, the four, that's seven, eight. How can you get the same twice in a row? Uh, different. That's actually, he did it on that four. Four. Same, same result. And he same said, result, same though. result. He took the eight. <laughs> no. It's a weird And game. he's got another ten. <laughs> that all he, Dan needs to do right now is just pace. Pace yeah. with uh, John, and he's got it. Murphy gets a knock here. It really, really puts him at a distance. Box to box is No, he's left of, looks Ooh. like, just the... Four pin up four with pin. a piece of wood right up yeah, in the front. Yeah, yeah, drill right into it. Yeah, I, I'd probably go a little more to the right end of it to spin it in, which he's doing. There, there you go. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about sometimes. 
<laughs> Too bad we couldn't do that in qualifying. Dave, what was that other, <laughs> other, other we wood were you? That. Piece of wood right in front of a pin. Bond wood or what's the word? Uh, Bond or? No, no, no. There's another name. David gave it to me a couple of weeks ago. After six, John Dufield at I 67. I just can't remember. Bond Dan Chenard at 85 working on a spare. Oh, great ball, but he's the 5'7". 5'10". 5'10", sorry. No help for wood. Rennie uh -huh. King wants to give a shout out to his uh, beautiful wife, Sarah, and his son, Hunter, and he wants to send his love out. Well, let's see if the champ can make the wool a split. Oh, he played the wood. He tried to cap it, throw it around. No success. He's Just like Woolworths, and closed. Yeah, closed out. This, didn't get the spare. Okay. Throws the ball. Very good. Three boxes left. He needs to stop uh, right now. Talk about frustration. Yeah. Now he's got the head. Oh, oh. It's called a barn door. Barn door. He just threw his hands up in disgust. Barn door. Like, yeah, but David, you gave me another one, I thought. It's barn door. Barn door. Isn't that what I said? Wow. And oh, here we go. We got the front. Randy triangle. King is real struggling. Yeah, Dan puts a big mark up. A big fellow in his mark, and another one pretty much seals the feet. Oh, oh made it. Box. Made it for 10. Hate to see a king go down like that after such and such great bowling last week. Yeah. But it happens. I mean, oh, feast yeah, yeah. of family. Well, Dan Chenard's got four marks out of six boxes. Great fills, great bowling. Yeah. He deserves it. He's got the head pin again. And he's left six. Excuse me, six on the fill, left four. Leaves the two, four, seven, and the ten. Where are you going? Splitting them? Yeah. Try to hit that. Oh, it's just a 10 pin in carry. Left just a 10 pin up, better known as the corner of the building shot, and he rolls it, and he, and he hit it head on, better known as what, David? He faced it, smacked it in the face. Box to box, Dan is up 28 pins. Oh, the Brooklyn side on that one. Now he's left another triangle, people. Three, six, nine, ten with a piece of wood rolling up. Should not be a factor. Dennis, percentage of making these four out of ten? Oh, he's zero. For oh, there he goes. There's one of them. <laughs> I was going to oh, say he was one out of four. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you know the percentage on that because that's when you lost the pizza. You yes, had to pay for it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. After eight, John. People Dufield. out there, yes, David Batala did win the contest. He did defeat me. I, took I, you, I, I defeated your challenge. That's right. We did make it six out of ten. I'm the first one to admit it. I saw it. I was there. After eight, John Dufield at 86. I'll oh, probably oh, never oh, live it down. But it, it, well, you won't live it down because I end up paying for it. Box to box, the reigning king is down 20 pence. I paid for 95% of the pizza. <laughs> I admit, it's a dollar shot. And that pretty much does it for the yep. reigning king. Okay, yep. we're going to have a new champ, people. Yep. You never know. And the only a couple what, of weeks. What did you, your research find? We've only had one returning champ in three years, Billy right? Billy Palumbo. Billy Palumbo, yeah. Yep. Only Shout out to good old Billy Palumbo. Hope you're doing well. Miss you, and hopefully we'll see you soon. That's right. I want you back, because I want you one-on-one, <laughs> -on -one, pal. Just to show you. It, anybody can come up here. It doesn't matter where you come from. You don't have to worry about it, Billy, because he could be holding that title anytime soon. No, I'm not. I just want to bowl him <laughs> one on one. I, do, I would think it would be a great match. Oh, nice, oh, nice, yeah. nice way to end it. Nice just gotta, you just got to let it go, Dennis. Just no, it has nothing to do with the time. I've always said I wanted to bowl Billy Plumbo one on one. Got to let it go. I have let it go. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm over. We all watched Him. you. We all watched you when you did the, 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 the love of box. You never let go of the belt in your hands. I didn't have they, the belt. They, 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 they had to grab it. Why you thought of this? Thing? I didn't have the belt. <laughs> the king had it. He throws it with a seven for a 111 string. Two string total of 210. Of now, all formalities. Yeah, Dan Chanel is already beaten. Yeah, he's looped. The, the defending champ ran into some difficulty. It happens. It's something that happened. But he was the champ last month. Dan Chanel before the fill is at 213. So. Oh, found the head. Oh, fall down. All right. Throws it with seven. Seven. Got a shot at a spare here. Now, Dennis, you gonna go, David? You gonna go to wood here? Or you gonna spawn him? You probably, I probably might. Yeah. yeah. He did. <laughs> oh my goodness, is he pulling a what? What six marks already out of nine balls? Seven. No six. Yeah, six out six. of nine. Sixty-six percent. Nice head to hit. Let him close it out. 
And he's shooting the spear. Leaves the four pin. Uh, it's going to be a tough shot. Yeah. Hopefully he can squeak right by it. He's gone. There it is. Bang. Oh, nice shot. All over it like white on rice. So 147 plus a ball. Seven knocks out of 10 points. Steve, have you ever figured out from uh, last month what the moon pie is? Yes, I did, but I don't want to hear about that. See if we can throw a strike on this. Oh, uh, <laughs> double pinochle. Prune juice for everyone. Left the double pinochle on oh, the Congratulations, like the Dan okay. Chenard, for defeating the reigning king. We now will former win. king, John Dufield. Back to two. Uh, John Dufield at 111, Dan Chenard at 153, the two, two string total. John Dufield at 210, Dan Chenard at 255. Well, the defending champ, people, unfortunately, for his part, he got defeated. We're going to move on next week. Yeah, John Dufield had two spares, no strikes. Dan Chenard had eight spares and one strike. Eight spares. That did Con the trick. Congratulations, Dan Chenard. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's winner, Dan Chenard. Great bowling, Dan. Oh, thank you very much. You had him by three pins going into the second string, and then you just opened up a can. You finished like uh, 153 or something like that. You just destroyed him. How, what, how were you feeling bowling in that second string? Oh, I found the head pin right in the pocket every box. Yeah, you were bowling pretty well, and you're one step closer to holding this new title belt. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I can't wait. I want it. <laughs> are, you, are you a WWE fan, yep. wrestling fan? Mm -hmm. Most of us are here, so th this is this is like the pinnacle right here. Yeah. Well, great bowling, and next week you'll face the number two seed, DJ Hosley with a 417 roll-off score. See everyone then.